I'm a strong believer that you get what you pay for when it comes to audio products. But every once in a while, a product comes along and proves me wrong. This time around, it's the Pamu Quiet from Padme. Well, sort of. But we'll talk more about that later. So, I have to say that the case is really quite cool. It's really bulky, so if you want to shove this into the pocket of a pair of skinny jeans, you'll definitely find it tough. But check this out. It opens up like a pocket watch. Okay, fine. Maybe it's not actually that cool, but it's definitely something refreshing because all the other cases open up, you know, the same old way. So it's a nice change. Moving on, there's a blue LED ring around the top half, which flashes while it's charging and stays solid when fully charged. It also lights up when you put the earbuds back into the case and close the lid. Unfortunately, I think Padmate has really missed out here. The ring seemingly doesn't correlate to the current power level of the case, so you can't tell how much battery is left. I might be wrong, but I've never seen the LEDs light up more than half a semicircle or less than half a semicircle. You can check the battery levels of the individual earbuds in the Pamu app, but that's about it. Speaking of the Pamu app, it's incredibly simplistic and personally, I find it rather lacking. Sure, you can update the firmware here, toggle between ANC and transparency mode, and even customize the touch controls. But there's no EQ feature for one. And secondly, it just looks really old school. Minimalistic people might like it, but I just find it too empty. The saving grace though, is how these earbuds sound. I wasn't expecting them to sound good at all, but I was pleasantly surprised by how lush and strong the bass is. Unfortunately, it comes at the cost of rather average mids and highs. The sound stage is also okay, but it's not wide either. Everything considered though, it's definitely better than a price tag would suggest, especially since there's also ANC included. When it comes to ANC, I think it's a good thing that Padmate included it in, but I feel that there's still quite a bit to work on. For one, the ear tips included in the box are actually on the small side, I feel. I'm using the largest ear tips and the left ear bud still feels loose and without a good seal. My ear canals aren't big either, so it's a bit worrying for people who might have larger ears. Because of that poor seal, the passive noise isolation doesn't do any favours for the ANC. Sure, the ANC works. It does remove some of the low-end droning, but I still found bits of music peeking in from the radio in the car when I was listening to my own music on the earbuds with ANC turned on. Padmate actually claims that these can cancel out up to 40 decibels of noise, which is actually on par with the Huawei FreeBuds Pro, or rather what Huawei claims their FreeBuds Pro can cancel out. But I can tell you for sure, these don't cancel out nearly anywhere as effectively as the FreeBuds Pro do. There's also a transparency mode, which works decently. The odd thing though, is that whenever you take the earbuds out of the case and put them into your ears, they default to transparency mode and you'll have to switch them into ANC mode. It's not a deal breaker, but it's an additional step that's a little frustrating. Padmate claims 3.5 hours on the earbuds with additional 2 charges in the case for a total of around 10.5 hours. I found that to be a little bit too generous, I generally averaged around 2.5 to 2 hours and 45 minutes on the earbuds at around 60% volume. That being said, I'm very thankful that these charge via USB-C and Pat made even threw in wireless charging compatibility, so if you want to charge them wirelessly, you can. So, how much do these cost? Well, the pricing is actually a little bit hard to nail down. These are listed on Padmate's website at a recommended retail price of 119 US dollars, and there seems to be a discount dropping it down to 99 US dollars right now. Their Indiegogo campaign stated retail price would be 150 US dollars, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of that, and their pricing seems to be all over the place, with a Black Friday promo photo showing the Pamu Quiet supposedly retailing at 199 US dollars. Here in Singapore, there are also conflicting prices from all over the internet. So honestly, I just recommend buying these direct from Padmate's website. I'll be honest though, these are one of the few true wireless earbuds in the market at this price point that offers ANC and a decent sound that will appeal to the general public. Sure, there are plenty of other earbuds out there that offer ANC and have much better sound. But you'll also notice that they cost quite a bit more. If you're looking for something that doesn't break the bank, has workable ANC, and 
it has a generally decent sound, or a bass heavy sound even, then this might be an option for you to consider. But those are my thoughts on the Petmate Pamu Quiet. If you guys have any thoughts or any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us if you haven't. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram for more content. Until the next one, see you guys! Thank you.